I give you the background first. Uh, we learn uh, before that factorial is used for what? Factorial is used uh, for uh, screening, screening, and also for characterization, characterization, and screening meaning that you want to use a, you find the vital few, and you discard, discard, uh, what we call. Tri trivial many and characterization mostly you want to do this characterization to find the interaction interaction or find the effect lah effects the main effect whether this give a lot of effect or not okay so now I give you some case study eh? I give you the background of the study let's say we have the example case study let we put case study okay Okay, let's say you are working in a, what we call a, a, a factory. Let me put this down. Okay, let's say you are working, let's say this you, and then you working in a factory and this factory make this plywood. Okay, plywood, 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 eh? plywood. And you know plywood is basically a combination of thin wood together. It's like this lah, like this. This plywood, you can see they are plywood and then they are, for example, a lot of thinner, thinner wood. We call it thinner glued together okay they glued together oh. they glued together so from the side you can see that the plywood is something like this lah you have something like this and then you have many many wood glued together and the thing is that you are interested in this glue okay you are interested in this glue the glue the glue okay so the glue as you know the glue can be very viscous for example the glue something like this is very it's not like water right it's very viscous so that's one of the properties of the glue the problem now the glue is very viscous uh, the problem let's say we put a problem the problem now the glue here that you have is viscous viscous the problem when the glue is so viscous if you have like a big uh, plywood big area of the plywood uh, before you you finish uh, spreading the glue in one uh, area then the other area is already hardened and then when you try to uh, combine another wood together then it's not uh, what we call it's not uh, well lah. well combined lah. so the idea now so let's see the idea so the experiment is like this you want to improve the the glue uh, viscosity in what in such a way you want to reduce the glue viscosity so the idea is that you want to reduce so the idea now is that you want to reduce the glue viscosity okay so you want to conduct the experiment but when you want to conduct the experiment you need to be clear what is the response how to test this glue viscosity and you come up with a very simple what we call very simple a way to measure the viscosity is to measure by its flow rate lah so you you have like maybe by testing testing its flow rate lah flow rate flow rate the faster the glue flow the better so that's uh basically what you want to do lah so maybe you can put some filter some filter here and then you pour the glue inside the filter you pour the glue inside this filter and then you can measure what we call how fast this glue flow lah so you can also say you want to find the you want to increase the filtration rate filtration rate okay so you have this uh, but now you learn something that uh, in your factory that glue in order to make because previously before you working in this factory uh, you found that your predecessor they already do the experiment on this glue they already do the experiment on this glue and they do the experiment let's say your predecessor predecessor ayo pula predecessor they already test this glue before you uh, coming to the factory even so they found that this predecessor found that that if you con if you put the formaldehyde if you put if you put a chemical let's say formaldehyde formaldehyde dehyde you can make it better flow lah you 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 can eh, wait. you can increase the filtration rate filtration rate filtration 
great. So this this what uh, a previous uh, generation tell you, and you and then because of this, the current glue that you use, this current glue, the current glue that you have, let's say I draw this glue, let's say this glue, the current glue have formal dehyde inside this, have formal dehyde inside this formal dehyde the chemical lah the chemical. The thing is that this formaldehyde, you know, it's hazardous. It's like a chemical, and also it give like a bad smell. It give bad smell. It give bad smell. Bad smell. So now your task is that how I want to improve the filtration rate, but then to sort of like uh, reduce the concentration of formaldehyde. You cannot throw away this thing. Uh, one thing is that you cannot really what we call. You cannot really remove the formaldehyde because if you remove this formaldehyde, it's basically you invalidate uh, what we call uh, your previous previous generation uh, finding or experiment. Plus, you are working in industry, so in industry, uh, you know the demand is always there. So people want this what we call this this uh, plywood. So if you try to start from the scratch, you want to remove the formaldehyde and you want to find other thing, meaning that you want to screen a new. A new what we call new chemical or new more sustainable or more better chemical, then it will take times. So you cannot uh, meet the demand from the, your uh, customer. So that's one thing. So and the second thing is also R and D. When you want to start from scratch, R and D costs money. So your your management say no no no. We put we still put the formaldehyde inside, but then uh, find a way to improve the filtration rate. So that is your situation. So now that is your situation. Eh? So that is your situation. This is your background or situation. So now let's put this in the experiment uh, diagram. So you know the experiment diagram. We have uh, what we call money. Hmm, so you have this box, and then you know the what we call the the output is the, you want to increase the flow rate. You want to increase the flow rate and eh, flow rate or filtration rate lah. It's easy lah. Filtration rate, filtration rate. So maybe this filtration rate in term of kg per hours lah, kg per hours. Let's say lah, kg per hours. And you know one of the factors because you want to create a glue now. You want to, you want to sort of like make glue. You want to make a, a glue lah. And you know, making a glue is not only for maldehyde is the factors, because when you make the glue, say the, this glue, you want to make, you want to to pour it, you need to mix other ingredient and so on. You know, in order to make glue, you need to put in some reactor like this, and then they have something like uh, agitate the the mixer. So this you have this uh, agitator, agitator, and you also know this is like uh, under pressure. You you put some pressure, pressure in order to cook the the glue. And also because uh, you want to cook, is basically you also introduce the what we call the temperature, temperature. So you found that these three other factors is also important. Okay, these three other factor is also important for the what we call for your glue making. So in that way, you 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 end up with the four major thing. Because remember, your aim is what your aim. Is to reduce the uh, the formaldehyde concentration. So one of the what we call one of the factor is formaldehyde formaldehyde concentration. Okay, and then another factor uh, is for, for example pressure pressure, and then another factor temperature, and then another factor is uh, agitation, meaning that the the revol the revolution per minute. So maybe uh, the RPM lah. RPM, okay. So you have this thing, and then you want to conduct the experiment. So in this case, you are not doing screening because you only have four factors, and then you want to see how come I improve the filtration rate while decreasing the formaldehyde concentration. So that's the aim. The aim. Let me put here. The aim is basically you want to improve improve filtration rate filtration rate. But you want to decrease the formaldehyde, formaldehyde concentration. So this is your aim. Your management said, do this, find this. So you come up with the experiment. So this is characterization. You want to find 
is there any relationship between formaldehyde concentration and filtration rate can i put it low and still get high and so on so that is basically the characterization and you use a factorial so let's 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 tabulate a, a few things so for the let me take let me take this picture let me take this picture first let me copy control c and then let go down so that i got a bigger canvas so let's say you have here okay so let me make it bigger a little bit okay let me make it a bigger, bigger, bigger. okay and then i put here so you have this experiment and you want to, you have four factors and then you want to what we call to check at two level okay because you want to save the resource the, the resource uh, that's also the reason why uh, in factorial or in design of experiment normally you see at a minimum two factors at minimum two level either high at the low or high the reason why only two factors is because when you have two factors, you get the minimum run, but you still have the uh, output. When you go for the what we call RSM, you at least you have three only, and you can go for five. But that's the maximum lah. You you don't go like ten level of uh, this thing, either low and high like that. So for formaldehyde, you found that you want to check. So for formaldehyde, let's say I draw like this, it's much easier. So let's say you have factor factor and then let's say here i put uh, here low and then this high okay so this uh, to show you how to develop the thing lah so now the factor let's say factor uh, one factor one is formaldehyde formaldehyde so you know that current because you want to reduce the number of uh, the concentration so you know that currently you uh, because currently the glue already have the formaldehyde so that current formaldehyde uh, concentration you put it as a maximum so say that the current formaldehyde concentration that they use for making this glue is four percent because your task is to reduce so four become the maximum lah so you put here four percent let's say in four percent and low maybe you put two percent okay and then you have the pressure and then you have pressure pressure and then you have temperature temperature and then you have uh, for the rpm lah the agitation so let's say you want to uh, check uh, the pressure between what between 10 to 15 okay and 15 what psi psi lah uh, the unit psi temperature maybe you want to check between 24 24 celsius to 35 celsius 35 celsius and uh, agitation in the reactor maybe you want to put between 15 15 rpm to 30 rpm okay so you lie down all the factors okay so now we want to use this and do uh, what we call uh, to put into design we want to uh, ask the use the two factor so you plan to do two by two because you have two level two factor and also two level okay so you open so now we go to the design expert itself huh? Let's open the design expert and let me make it bigger so you can see the whole screen. Okay, so now, so that is when you open, let me, I open from the scratch. Eh? Uh, let me set new design. Eh, new design, how to cancel everything. Cancel everything. Okay, once you try, uh, when you open the design expert, eh? let me new design. So by default, it will give you this factorial design. We already discussed this, the red color and I will not, uh, what we call, repeat again. So we just go straight to uh, what we want. So we have two factors. We have two factors. Uh, we have four factors. Huh? We have uh, not two by four. This is silap ni. This is by f uh, eh sal salah ni. So that is wrong. Eh? So basically, what you have, you have two by four. So this the bottom one. Eh. So the bottom one is basically the level. The bottom one is level. And the top one here is the factor, okay? Is the factor. So you have uh, what we call two level four factor, okay? So now uh, you go there and find the four factor. So four factor, and then you see there are two choice, either the yellow or the what we call this um, uh, this full factorial, okay? 
um, so because you want to do characterization okay so you need to stay in green or white lah because you look here you said green for characterization yellow for screening you want to really see the interaction so if you use yellow then no good lah so go for uh, the white lah and white if you use this 2 to power of 4 you have only 60 run okay and then you said oh 60 run is okay lah okay one thing about uh what we call this thing uh, uh what we call uh one thing about this if you see here there are center point per block here if you look here there are center point per block what does it mean here now you have two level only center point mean that you add another what we call another level in the middle okay when you add center point you can find curvature you can find the curvature like this lah like like uh, the one that we learned before uh the, the, where is this thing i don't remember this thing this thing uh, where is this thing uh, this thing you can find the curvature so here you can see the curvature if you add the center point you can find the curvature because after all when you add the uh, when you add this thing now you have two level you have now two level you have now two level low and high so the center point basically you put here lah you put another you you do another run lah meaning that you want to do another run in the center so when you test sometimes you can get something like this sometimes nothing you get uh, something like there are nothing but there are time that you will get like a curvature like a curvature lah like a curvature like this and the curvature they happen because they are center point here so sometimes even though you have this then the, the the center point doesn't create the curvature but there are time that you get the curvature when you get the curvature then you you have this uh, sort of like optimization uh, problem there not problem in that you have this uh, optimization lah there but if let's say you put the center point uh, let's say this one two three this is low this is high and then the graph the whatever you get the interaction whatever effect that you get is just like that it's just like this straight like that so the center point doesn't really cause anything lah doesn't uh, have any effect lah because the high is higher lah so the reason why you put center point is to check for the curvature but the downside for this is that once you add the center point then the number of run increase lah the number of run will increase so in this case we just put the center point per block zero okay we take this so how to do uh, how to put just go next just select this first uh, and then this replicate one so you do replicate yourself lah uh, and then go to next okay so now you input everything lah so we have what we have a uh, temperature we have uh, everything that we have lah so we have temperature let's say we have temperature temperature and then we have temperature the unit maybe celsius degree celsius lah degree degree celsius and then numeric so here if you click here you have what we call if you click here you have numeric and category we have learned before factors can be numeric or category numeric for as temperature have numbers uh, category for example you deal with brand brand a brand b brand c like that so you we are numeric so go numeric so the low level before is 24 and the high level is 35 Okay, so done with one. And then the second one is pressure. Let's say we put pressure. Pressure. And then you need maybe PSI. PSI. And then we try to check between 10 PSI to 15 PSI. And then after that, we have what? Concentration. This is the important thing lah. You want to check whether the low concentration can improve the yield, uh, improve the filtration rate or not. So this is concentration. You put concentration. And then the unit is percentage lah concentration and then uh, the the current one is four and then lower one you want to test is two and then lastly you have the stir rate lah the the agitation we call it agitation so this maybe we can put it stir rate lah stir stir rate okay and stir rate is at rpm lah revolution per minutes okay and maybe the lower you want to test 15 and then the higher you test uh, 30 okay so now here you have this horizontal vertical is just uh, the way how the factor is displayed if i click vertical you get like that you just uh, change the what we call the factors uh, just just change the axis lah so it doesn't really matter that thing 
Okay, so by default it's horizontal, and then, and then after that, after you done with all this thing, you input this what we call inputting the data. Okay, after you input the data, you click next. Okay, now you get this thing. Okay, you ask respond. They ask respond. So now because we have only one respond, so one respond lah. If you have two respond, you click two, and then the the what you call this thing become two lah. Okay, so now we have only one respond, then one lah. So our response is filtration rate. So we put filtration rate lah. Our response is uh, filtration rate. Hmm. Filtration rate. Filtration rate. Okay. So the unit uh, we want to check kg per hour. Uh, maybe kg per hour lah. Okay. So now we have seen this before. The signal and uh, noise. Okay. The signal and noise. Um, we have learned about this before, but just to to just uh, re, 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 what call re, 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 recall your management your your what you call your uh, your management one your management management they want to see the improve they, they don't want to see if your improvement is 10 kilogram per hour in term of flow rate if if the uh, if they saw this low than 10 kilogram per hour meaning that you are failed so this management hit lah. So you want to design your what we call your experiment in such a way at the end of the day, your result will give like uh, the, the the improvement more than 10 kilogram per hour compared to current uh, filtration rate. So that's what does it mean. So the management set the rule, set the bar. Oh, okay, I want you do this experiment, but if you find the improvement less than 10 kilogram per hour, you fail. Uh, so that is the, the set by the management. So this is what we call this is what we call signal lah. Signal meaning that what you want to find. So this is signal. Okay, and then we know that the uh, we want to find the what we call signal. The noise is basically uh, uh, you you divide the signal to the noise lah you want to find so based on the record based on the historical historical record you found that uh, uh, you found that your uh, factory they have what we call give the standard deviation uh, have this noise 5 5 what I call 5 kg per hour is basically the error rate based on the previous uh, error, error rate lah based on the previous uh Previous record lah, because you your factory have done as making this uh, glue again and again and again. So based on that record, they found that the error rate is around five kg uh, per hour like that, uh, plus minus like that lah. So that is basically the we call it as a sigma lah. We we put it like a uh, sigma, sigma or uh, the the standard deviation lah, standard deviation ar around five kg per hour. So in order to find the what we call the power, you Divide signal to the uh, this uh, variation lah. So this is the thing. Okay, so we have uh, discussed this before. If uh, you're not clear, then you can refer to our previous uh, ni lah, previous clip. So we go here. So we know different to detect delta signal is ten. Is ten. The ma the management one ten, and then estimation standard deviation sigma we put it uh, five because this is what we uh, the. The, the based on previous historical record so you get two okay what if you don't know all these things okay if we go to the what we call previously if you go back you see this thing is uh, they give the delta sigma is two so by default by default is two so if you don't know about this thing the what you want to find and what the noise that you have then you just use whatever default lah but sometimes when you are in management, especially when you are in the factory, they, the management will give you the KPI. Okay, you must achieve this in order to, to what we call, to, to, for us to say that you are successful. So that's uh, where the power come in lah. Okay, so you get two. Um, what else? So you have the signal and noise. Why you need this? The signal to noise ratio is used for power calculation. Eh? So it's used to uh, what you call to for power uh, calculation. So if you go next here, you see this design power. It's already calculated for you. So you see the signal to noise is 2 
and then the design already calculate to you the power is 95.3 so more than 80 percent normally if uh, the the what we call you get the power around 80 and above that's better lah meaning that you can separate the signal and the noise so that's what does it mean okay so after you done this thing you click finish okay you click finish okay so now you get this table okay so you get this table um if you try to follow around let's say if let's say after this you do it uh, using the same uh, data same input data you input the same factors data uh, the value for temperature pressure and so on same like me you will not get the same order okay because this order this table is randomized this is basically the number of what we call the number of run that you need to to perform you have 16 run because 2 to the power of 4 is 16 you have 16 run and then this run is randomized so each time if let's say i close this and then i do a new one but i input the same thing this thing will be different meaning the order the design will be the same but the order will be different okay so that's why don't don't, don't uh, confuse if let's say you try uh, yourself using the same input like me you will you will get different we will get different lah in term of order <coughs> so but um, the reason why they what we call they they put it in the random so you see the 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 run is randomized the reason why they put this uh, in what we call in this uh, randomized order is to what we call to protect against any lurking variable lah. we learned before what does it mean by lurking variable um, for example let's say you start with all the same uh, stir rate and then who knows in the middle of the experiment let's say experiment number eight you found that uh, the stir rate that you put you input in the machine not giving you uh the correct uh correct stir rate lah maybe let's say maybe 2 rpm above or 2 rpm below so by randomize the order of your run you sort of like protect that you even though that's happened you you sort of like average the the noise the the, the thing if let's say you do it like you start with all the what we call all the stir rate uh, low first and then high and then middle and low first and then the high later then you don't protect your design so to protect your design you need to randomize and the software did it for you lah so once you what we call once you done all the hard stuff putting the input uh various input data and so on you can click it's good time for you to click save lah so you can click save here so this basically uh what you call uh the 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 experiment that you need to conduct lah that's when you need to conduct so basically what people do is that they print this they print this and then and then they run the experiment because this is basically experiment lah ni experiment number one and then you run the experiment you get the result you put here and then experiment number two you run the experiment you put uh, you you use this uh, factor you follow whatever the design shows uh, ask you and then you perform the experiment you check the filtration rate and you put the data here okay so normally people print and then bring to do the experiment themselves lah so it's good time for here to save the design and then you just click the save there and then you just uh, click lah maybe you can put uh, uh, yeah. uh, filtration uh, workshop workshop okay let me put in the desktop only so the reason why you save is that now you are not looking at this uh, what we call you are not uh, when you want to do experiment you are not in front of your computer so it's better for you uh, to save lah if not you need to input again and again 